there! I'm Neely Spence Gracie. Thanks for tuning in today. I've had a weird day. You know, this whole quarantine thing kind of has had me in a little bit of a funk, I guess. Um, you can relate, right? Like, it's just not normal and it's just off routine. And so today I've done a lot of new things and I've been challenging myself to try and push my boundaries, expand my horizons a little bit. Um, and so today I did my first ever uh, TikTok video, my first time hosting an Instagram live conversation. And I thought, why not just jump on in and create a YouTube channel while I'm at it? Because this is something that I've kind of talked about for like probably a few years but it's felt kind of scary and unknown and no time like the present to push those limits. So, hey guys, I'm here. And if you don't know me, I'm a professional distance runner, specifically 5K to marathon. Uh, I compete for Adidas and I recently took the last two years off to have my son Athens, who is now 21 months. And I've been back to training. I competed for the first time since having him this past January at the Houston Marathon. And I qualified for the Olympic trials, which were held in February. Of course, things are kind of different now. And I'm not sure what uh, the next race will be at this point, but I'm putting in good training and I thought, you know, why not kind of share my story a little bit and you know, get ideas from you guys too. So what you want to hear about and how it can help you with your own training. So I'll kind of back up and maybe start at the beginning and talk about why I think this might be fun. And then I'd love to get information from you in the comments as to what you want to hear as well. So I started running in eighth grade. It's been a long time. Um, I started with really big dreams and I've met a lot of them, which is so incredible to me when I look back as 13 year old me in eighth grade, uh, thinking about the fact that I wanted to qualify for the high school national championship. And that's really like the entire reason I started running was to have this opportunity to qualify for the national championship, get a free trip to California, compete against the top 40 best runners in the country. And I talked to my dad whenever I first came up with this goal and asked him to coach me for it. And he was like, you know, like you kind of have to be good. You kind of have to work really hard to be one of the best runners in the country. And without hesitating, I was just like, of course, like tell me what to do. I want to do it. And it was just from that moment that I kind of dove right into the running community, the running culture and the desire to compete and be good, I guess. <laughs> and so I started working really hard and um, I made that goal a reality my junior year of high school. And I thought that it would just be like a one-time thing, like, okay, I did it, I'm at that goal and now I'm like good to go. But once I hit the goal, it was like this almost like obsession of, okay, I have to set another goal and I have to work hard and I have to make that one. And so I ran in college. I was an eight-time NCAA champion in college. Um, I turned pro right out of college and I've had big goals ever since. Um, so I turned pro in 2012 and I joined the Hansons. Uh, I competed for them for three years before I moved to Colorado. Now I've been in Colorado for five years and I've been with Adidas running for five years as well. And it's just incredible to look back um, and kind of see all of the things that went really right and also went really wrong, but they're what got me to where I am today. And I'm so grateful for all the experiences. And so I want to share with you guys kind of my story and details about my training, you know, what did I do this week? And what have, have I found that helps make me successful? I'm also a running coach and I have a team called Get Running. And I work with about 80 current uh, athletes all over the country, some international athletes as well. 
and I coach virtually online. And so I'd love to talk a little bit about training and preparing for races and training plans. I'd love to talk about strength training and the details surrounding training, you know, sleep, uh, nutrition, hydration, recovery aspects, all of those that are so important to just the lifestyle of running and competing and letting your body work for you at its most optimal capacity. I also would love to talk about being a mom. I'm a mom, I have my own business and I'm training. And so, you know, I know there's a lot of parents out there who are working really hard and I just feel like that can be a relatable topic and something that we can all kind of support each other on because it's hard, but it's so rewarding too. I also would love to talk about, you know, just like day-to-day -day things, um, recipes, cooking, challenges, exciting moments. Uh, so I'd love to hear what you wanna hear about. What would be interesting to you? And I'm trying to come up with something that, you know, maybe each week I can put forth a 10 minute video or so talking about these things and sharing with you a little bit of the knowledge that I have from the years of training and competing at a high level. Um, and, you know, maybe we can all be in this together because right now, the number one thing that I've been missing throughout this whole coronavirus quarantine thing is the community. Uh, running is such a social aspect to me. It's something that I really thrive off of and I really miss it. I've made so many incredible friends through just putting in miles with people and I'm sure you guys feel the same way. And so right now, the one way that we can all stay connected and we can all stay, you know, a part of each other's lives is virtually. And so this is one way that I can connect with you and you can connect with me and we can talk about stuff and support each other and learn and grow and feel good about what we're doing and what we are bringing to the world right now because there's so many sad things and hard things and scary things going on. And I'm really someone that I try to focus on the positives and I try to be optimistic and I have goals just like you and I want to work towards them. And obviously things are uncertain and, you know, we don't really know what the future holds at this moment, but we just have to control what we can and that's our mindset and our attitude and our training. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really excited to get this kicked off and I'm really excited to get running with you. First off, if you want to continue seeing these videos, subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, um, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok since I just did that today, um, at Neely S. Gracie. I also have a website, neelyruns.com, and so I would love for you to check out some of my blogs there, which may give you some ideas of things that you may want to have me further elaborate on. So hope you guys had a great day, and I look forward to continuing conversations with you and getting to know you guys better as you get to know me better. All right, have a good night and cheers. Take care, I'll see you next week.